DreamCon 2024. A place of beautiful, uh, you know, community coming together. Friends, family, uh, you know, cosplayers, gamers, anime enthusiasts. Everyone's invited. And then you get people like this. No, but listen, uh, so DreamCon just happened. I wish I could have gone. I was not available to go, but I will hopefully go in the future. Uh, this is a tweet from Soul King that says, in a span of less than 10 minutes, uh, Bull was on some weird ish, disrespecting the people that make DreamCon and Def tried to play my folks. Uh, Jay, I don't like that. And this is me just turning or excuse me, tuning in for 10 plus minutes of, I guess, a live stream um, to see what's DC looking like this weekend, DreamCon. So I want to genuinely know. Oh, that's loud. Sorry about that. I want to genuinely know who's like. All right. So this kid or adult man who is built like, I don't know. Let's not, let's not, let's not talk trash, JD. Yeah. So this person. Uh, I believe they go by Yusuf or something on Kick. I think they're a Kick streamer and they're fairly popular. And you know, you know what Kick is. Listen, when we're on Kick, what do we do? We go on Kick to kick all of the rules and regulations of life that we wouldn't necessarily do or use in our lives. We go, we go to Kick to quite literally uh, kick away any type of uh, self awareness or conscious so we've got this kid who i guess goes around trolls talks trash like a black neon i don't know um or maybe a jack doherty i have no idea but he was there and he was basically talking trash on dreamcon while he was there which is just weird and unnecessary and just like go and enjoy it bro like it's a it's a cool little joint why don't you just enjoy it and have fun but i guess he was incapable of doing that and he has this clip and we'll watch it right about now. I want to genuinely know who's like buying this shit though. Like who's, okay, y'all know niggas that's stepping out in kid boo flags and t-shirts and shit and like anime titty t-shirts and stuff. Like this shit don't make sense to me, bro. All right, we're gonna pause right there because no disrespect to you, young man. You have got the build of anime titty t-shirt people. <laughs> I got the build of anime titty t-shirt people or Dragon Ball Z drip. There's nothing wrong with it. Also, shout out to this person who made this really cool uh, art or made these really cool um, shirts or whatever. Like, I mean, no disrespect. There's n like, bro, I, like, <laughs> I don't, under I don't understand how you're, I just don't understand how someone purposefully chooses to be negative. And has got a, a bad, bad butch uh, built body. <laughs> I just don't get it, you know, and I'm not here to talk trash. Listen, I'm an adult. I'm not here to clown anybody. I just think it's mean. I don't know why. I don't know what's the I don't understand the purpose of being mean to people who are trying to make a living off of their work and also saying it like loudly in front of their booths where they could maybe hear you. That just, just seems mean. It just seems rude and unnecessary. What I also think is funny is the fact that his friend who cuts on camera, I swore I thought he was wearing some sort of uh, anime related uh, shirt, which I was going to be like, hey, this your man's <laughs> like, you know, also, I feel like even the least hardcore anime fan has a t-shirt like I, I love anime. I don't have a bunch of t-shirts, but I got like a My Hero Academia shirt. I definitely have a Dragon Ball Z shirt. My brother bought me. So it's just weird. And you paid money to come and just like kind of talk trash. I don't understand the purpose of that. Um, there's another video. So let's swipe over and see what that's about. Uh, psych. Wait, where's the audio? Oh, OK. This one is kind of rude and disrespectful and is very much another one. It's like I'm just I'm a re I'm a IRL cyber bully. That's my job. I IRL cyber bully. Let's uh, let's get into it. Hey, I like the fit, buddy. All right, who are or IRL troll, I guess. Like, who you dressed up as? All right, word. Looks good, though. I fuck with it. All right. See, we're right into it. Sailor Mars. Bro dressed up as as a, as a female, excuse me, a woman, uh, a, you know, a woman character. And he's immediately trying to make fun of it to his chat, which to me is even more cringe. You don't have any real friends with you at this convention. All of your friends are trapped inside of the monitor. 
like and not to say like that's a bad thing because i'm streaming right now and i'm recording but it's like it's like bro you could be like building relationships you could be networking you could low-key be networking you could be actually rubbing shoulders with people who could actually probably help you grow and become a better person and and or content creator but instead you choose to just clown around and be mean i don't i don't understand like purposefully going out of your way to be like uh like like a, a dickhead for no reason that that is something that i can't genuinely wrap my head around that seems like just not productive and a waste of everyone's time and a waste of everyone's personal space you know like i would like even even if i'm in a place where i don't feel like i'm represented or wanted i wouldn't go there and just be like man this is weak y'all weak i don't know why i'm here i guess i'm weak for being here and blah 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 like that's so weird you could you could quite literally be like getting to know new people spending time with people introducing yourself but you know what? I know what it is. First off, you got a lot of people who lack emotional, uh, you first, not even emotional. You have a lot of people who lack maturity in general, self-awareness. They on mostly on kick and a lot of IRL streamers who go the route of IRL just to, uh, just to get views. They go the route of, uh, I'm a, I'm a lot IRL troll because I'm so insecure that the, the dares that I'm seeing in chat or the messages I'm getting through TTS or whatever it is that I have, that's, that's my identity. And I, I have to, I have to keep them entertained or they won't watch me anymore. I can't wait to watch some of these people grow up. I can't wait. Cause at the end of the day, you can't be popping forever. You're not going to be the most popping live streamer for, for listen. You're lucky if this lasts you three years. So I would love to see these people in a decade. Or I would love to see these people if they get old enough and uh, want to start a family. Even that would be hella funny. Like, oh, yeah, man. You know, uh, that was just, it's <laughs> just the old me. The old you? Nah, that was you. You thought that this was mad hilarious and you're a goof. You're a weirdo. You're a goofy. All right, let's finish watching the rest of this and see what he has to say. All right. Uh, diabolical work. Diabolical work, to say the least. What's up? And then you actually have a fan there who said hello. You don't acknowledge him. You just keep going as if you don't have time to say hello. Why? Probably someone in your chat saying like, hey, bro, chill on everybody here. We trying to have a good time. What's good, Brody? What's up? What's up, bro? Nah, bro. You dapping people up? That's insane. I, I, would, I would feel cringe saying hello to this dude. Unless he's just doing it on a whim. Chow, what was that? Is that like an anime that y'all know? I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay, first off, I will actually I agree to that. He's probably too young to know Sailor Moon, but at the same time, you know what it is. He's making fun of a dude wearing a dress. That's it. That's the whole the whole gimmick. The whole he he didn't really go hard on him. He he just he just he just made it awkward and was like, all right, bro. Eh, I don't know. It's so weird. It's so weird. Like minding your business is free. But you're going out of your way to make people's personal enjoyment your, like, tomato throwing fest. I don't, I don't like it. Nigga saying I'm fucked up for that. How is, did I say anything mean to him? Nigga, I was nice. I said I fuck with his shit. Yeah, but you didn't mean it. You know that you didn't mean it. And it's obviously you being, like, a backhanded compliment. You want me to, like, laugh at all right, so that was one more, and then there's a third one. Let's see what happens here. Dude, you know what I want? Fuck the basketball, fuck the anime. I want to see some bad bitches, bro. Where the bad hoes at, bro? Real? I haven't seen any, bro. Where they at? Fuck, bro, I left my fucking underwear yesterday. You're good, bro. What? Yo, wait a minute. I'm sorry. First off, strange dialogue. Very strange dialogue. I don't understand how the word bad, bad bitches and my underwear is missing are in the same sentence. You are what you are hating on. You a clown, bro. You a goofy. 
my underwear is missing. Bro, take your ass to the goddamn store to Target or wherever and get some underwear. I'm sorry. Also, there's plenty of beautiful people, men, women at this event. I, obviously, he wants to get to get with women. There's girls there. Why not? Why not go introduce yourself to some of the beautiful girls who are probably at the event? Like that are probably dressed up as I don't know anime or cos or whatever cosplayer characters. I, it's just strange. It's strange to me to have this type of vibrato, but then carry the energy of like like little energy of a of like a just a child. And I mean, I get it. That's who you're pandering to. Your audience are probably uh, anywhere between 12 to 15. And what is he, 20 something? In the next decade, he's unk. Actually, he's unk right now. So <laughs> I don't, I don't, I just don't understand it. It's, it's that type of behavior. I'll never, I can, I'll never be able to understand why you thought. And also, it's just like publicly shaming these people. And I want him. Oh, where the bad? Where the bad? He's at. Let's keep it a hundred. Bro does not get baddies. Period. Period. Without having internet clout. And if you never made it as an internet content creator, stop it. You would be way more humble. You would be way more self-aware. You'd be way more respectful to everybody there. You probably would be one of the people enjoying the con. The con. But you got a little bit of money in your pocket because you troll online and, oh, man, where the bad, where the, man, I want to know where the baddies at, dog. <laughs> hey, man, F all these, uh, F all these, uh, thick anime cosplayers, man, where, where, like where? Where the baddies? And why is that playing in the background? I'm supposed to mute you. <laughs> That's strange, man. That is strange. That is so strange. All right. But, you know, listen. Also, he's younger. I Listen, maybe I would have said some dumb shit like this when I was younger, too. I'm not going to lie. I, it's possible. I was I was a little uh, uh, egotistical little boy. So it's possible that I would have said something stupid. It's super possible. But, no, actually, I'm too much of a fan of anime and gaming to make fun of it. Honestly, I wouldn't do that. Uh, but... You know, it's funny. I forgot. I tweeted uh, at this message that was posted by whoever. And I wrote in the in the message myself, I said, I promise you, <laughs> I promise you, I wrote, I promise you outside of Internet clout goblins and leeches. This dude for sure has never gotten a baddie on his own without flexing his follower count, shaking my head. These are the moments where I'm glad I grew up before social media. And someone put same, and then one of his fans wrote, I, unk, <laughs> cry emoji. <laughs> Bro, just be honest. I didn't know this got 28, I didn't know this. First off, I had no idea that my tweet got 28,000 views. That's funny. Uh, I think I actually posted another one, but, or no, I did post another one under this one. Yeah, I wrote, uh, because this is Soul King. Go follow Soul King on Twitter. Them IRL streamers are going to make DreamCon lose its uh, message. Uh, people side-eye men cosplaying and asking where the hoes at and making fun of the booth selling anime merch. And I wrote, and I saw that video at first, and then I said, dude was a goofy and absolutely would get no quote-unquote hoes without internet clout. And that one got a 1,000 likes and uh, some retweets. I got 100,000. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Um, and once again... Uh, actually, I know. I think is there any more replies? I feel like I feel like somebody was like, "All right, come on, Unc," or something. I don't know. That's enough about that. That might have been the only incident that happened. Also, we're currently recording live for those that don't know. Hello, recording live. If you're here watching the stream, um, so let's continue on to the next thing that I guess happened with DreamCon, which was kind of strange. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how to really wrap my head around this one, but I guess uh, there was a moment of some, this girl, I don't know why she wrote this, but maybe it was, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe personally she thought this is true. She wrote that uh, DreamCon is like the freak Nick of anime. And I personally don't understand why she said this. 
they're calling it according but but also i think it's just like i think she was trolling and tried to make a joke and then the joke kind of didn't land but also like she just wanted the joke to keep going uh so let me see let me see let me see uh, da -da 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 -da. actually never mind we're gonna take that off screen i was trying to put chat on screen so y'all could be a part of the video but i made a mistake all right so this is from it's melanin and it says now that DreamCon is over this is all i will or i will say this there is a lot of temptation at DreamCon. <laughs> temptation <laughs> If your partner of any gender went by themselves or with their friends, they cheating on you. I think that's a weird thing to post. 987,000 people saw this. 1,000 retweets, 4.3 thousand likes, uh, 1.3 thousand saves, 253 comments. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this screams insecurity. Who's at DreamCon that anyone wants to like get freaky with? RDC World? Kai Sinat? Duke Dennis? Phantom? I mean, listen, there are fans that, that I listen, there are fans who sometimes get freaky, uh, get turn up and want to turn turn up for what? I'm not gonna lie, it's not like it's not possible. I've I I feel like I've I have friends who have had that experience where it's like a fan wanted to holler at me. I don't think you should date your fans at all unless unless they have a healthy mind because there's a power dynamic there it's just too weird um okay and this is and this is where the weird stuff got in and she said and if they went to any of the after parties ooh, kiss that relationship goodbye and then she wrote if your partner is cute okay so they need to be attractive for this to happen if your partner is cute then they're with their favorite creator from the event getting pounded sorry and then people said, sorry, but this is weird to post. Yeah, that is weird to post because it's like, okay, my insecurities are showing, I would assume. And this is how I feel about people at DreamCon who are out living their lives and trying to, I don't know, mingle. And not to say that, like, listen, there's probably there's probably people who did go there and maybe, they're, maybe they did hook up. I don't think that that's impossible, but she's acting like it's freak Nick. Like she's trying to talk about it like it's... Like, you don't know what happens at DreamCon? Like, don't do that. First off, don't. I don't like that you're trying to make, you're, you're going to give it a bad name doing it like that. In case, like, I don't know, some like, I don't know. I don't know. Personally, it's just one of them things where it's like the first black convention I've ever seen that's been organized and ran this long and started by black people, obviously black owned business. And then uh, anyone can go. But, you know, more, more or less, it's a lot of people who are uh, of African-American descent or African descent and they are fans of black creators so that's usually it but you have other creators to pull up like your hassan and not uh hasanabi um or hassan pike hassan piker is that your name uh you know your ludwigs your whoever else uh, uh sketch was there so i don't know weird comment i'm actually going to go off camera real quick and read a little bit more of the replies because i feel like we might get some weird responses and i don't want them to come up but if you want to chat put some chat uh messages on the screen for me Okay, so I'm gonna. Cl I just want to click the reply section because I feel like if I were to accidentally click it too far down, you know, Twitter is quite literally uh, the hub at this point. So uh, you got to be careful about what you, what you do. All right, so let's see. Um, that's an insane tweet. It's insane, but it's the truth. Truth is objective. This is not blah 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 blah. I'm trying to see if this girl even responds. I feel like she put that out there just to get clicks. Why are you talking about Dream Con, Dream Con like it's Freak Nick? If they cheating on you at Dream Con, they would have done it anywhere. <laughs> that's what somebody said, and that's a very smart response. Making Dream Con sound like a Miami spring break trip is wild. Uh, and then somebody tried to push their OnlyFans. Good job, JD. Don't have this on screen. What Dream Con? I mean, they're not. It's just a picture of them, but it's not anything crazy. Uh, at least someone said it. Okay, wait, if I had a girl and she went to DreamCon, I'd kiss that relationship goodbye. LMAO, it's too obvious it's a place where relationships die? Bro, you're insecure and you're weird. Mine's went with me. This is why you're single. This is crazy weird, bro. Yeah, there's a lot of insecure people on the internet. I think that's just what it is. Why are you trying to make happy couples insecure? Okay, yeah, if you attempted to ruin a relationship at DreamCon of all places, you have much bigger issues to address. 
Oh, this is unfortunate to read. Now, this ain't it, bro. I feel like this is also, I don't know why the hell I'm not focused. Okay. Bro, focus on me, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why. I genuinely can't wrap my head around why she would say that. Also, this video is going on 20 minutes, JD. We got to wrap it up. Um, this is it. JD rant, JD rant and react at the same time. I'm going to, I'm going to her page just to see what she posts. Okay. So she's got herself in a cosplay. Good for her. W stream everyone. It feels like she posted that just to get engagement. Cause I'm not, or you know what? Actually, let me, let me scroll back up to her tweets and replies. It's a weird thing to post. W stream everyone. We really need to get you a better fire. Uh, she's, she's a Pokemon streamer. Okay. Uh, nah, y'all got a lot more motion than me. You have more motion. I forgot. That's a new slang term. Uh, if you were, okay, here's another response. She put, if you were taken down at DreamCon, just say that. Don't project. No, I wasn't, but God, I wish I was taken down. All right, bro. Just, just, yo, put the, put the fries in the bag, bro. And, and link, uh, link everyone that you tried to get caught up with all that drama your only fans because what are you talking about i mean no disrespect she might not have only fans but either way what i don't know i i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna read into it at that point i feel like she's trolling because it's like i wish i got pounded what <laughs> hey. all right we're gonna go to we're gonna go to tiktok next tiktok actually has people oh sorry people on here who have their uh, personal reactions to DreamCon. So let's see what they have to say because we're what, like, what the f are we even watching or reading anymore? All right, so I see one right here. Uh, DreamCon cosplay highlights. Let's do this one DreamCon rant. All right, let's pause it real quick. Uh, video details, full screen, and let's can we hear it? Just absolutely no reason that you come. All right, a minute 30. There's just absolutely no reason that you come into DreamCon and calling it that. That whole burlesque portion y'all saw, that was one event at the con. That was not the whole con. You make your own experience at DreamCon based on what you came to DreamCon for. If you came to see your favorite streamers, you got to meet them, cool beans. You came to meet RDC, you wanted to see them, cool beans. You came for the anime, they had an old anime exhibit hall. They had hecka anime panels back to back to back. They even had a video game haul. That shit was packed. RDC's um, All-Star Weekend. They made the con. They made the con. They're gonna have their shine. AMP con. They were guests. They're gonna be at the con. You thought it was gonna be about you? It's gonna be about black culture, gaming, and anime. A very small portion of me thinks this is like tying into the whole anime niggas and niggas that like anime rhetoric because if you really think about it the niggas that are complaining wasn't enough anime you need to take your ass to the regular cons not a black con there's going to be other things dealing with black culture aka black greek life things of that nature oh i'm sorry it wasn't just anime <laughs> i'm sorry as a content creator myself i love dream con i came to get creator insight i cosplayed for the two days like for two days but that's about it. Like, I just came for the creator panels, connect with other creators, and that's what my goal was when I came to DreamCon. If your other goal was to get noticed and this and that ain't happen for you, I was there for vibes and to meet other people. I don't know what y'all be coming to DreamCon for, and that's my two cents. That seems, that seems very rational and self-aware and right up the alley of what I was thinking. Because, yeah. I mean, I guess there was like, maybe there was a burlesque show. Okay. They're adults. They can do that. That's not, that's not crazy. And also burlesque is not like, it's not even stripping. It's quite literally just whatever. Uh, I'm seeing this dude talk about streamers at DreamCon. So that's probably the use of thing that we talked about. Um, Duke Dennis got rejected or something. Uh, doing this trend. Yusuf anime. People who had fun at DreamCon. Photos. Worst event of my life. This is from 2023. These are not. Hold on. We need DreamCon 2024. Videos. Yeah. It seems fairly normal. Shout out to DreamCon when you pay $875 for a flight and a hotel for the weekend pass. Just not to get into any events because they're at max capacity. That's frustrating for sure. I can hear that. 
Uh, once I get duped to watch another anime. Yeah, you know, people got to meet their favorite content creators. You know, it's crazy that content creators are like the new celebrities. Um, DreamCon, DreamCon was fire. I was told by several people that they were sad or something. I don't know what that is. DreamCon. All right, DreamCon review from three days ago. I will watch one more review and then I think we're gonna wrap it up. Okay, so DreamCon. It's a three minute video? Dang. Okay, so DreamCon 2024. I'ma just share my little thoughts. If y'all can't hear me because of the construction, I'm sorry. Overall, I feel like this. Wait, time we sh wasn't she bad should plug year. her headset into the what's it called? Second time going to DreamCon. I don't feel like it was bad. I just feel like there's a lot more people that came this year that solely came to meet their favorite creators, which of course at any con, like if you know that there's somebody who you like watch or who inspires you, you want to bump into them. A lot of people felt like entitled to meet every single creator. From what I saw, like there were people waiting at 10 a.m. to go to like an influencer creator basketball thing or whatever, dodgeball, whatever it was. And I was just like, there are so many panels, so many like tools that y'all could be learning, so many things y'all could be implementing, whether it's for your content, whether it's for like hobbies, whatever it's for, because there's something for everybody. They had like knitting 101. Knitting 101, bro, like, oh, and there was a wrestling panel. They had their first wrestling panel. I missed it and I'm so mad that I did because when I gave it up for it was ridiculous. Anyway, that's the point. In terms of the organization of the con, they did a lot better than they did last year. They still had a lot of things to speak. Um, but like day one, and I think yesterday especially, um, which was day three the last day, I feel like as far as organization, they were pretty much top notch. I feel like Saturday had a little hit and misses every now and then, but it wasn't like the worst experience. Each year it's trying to get better, I hope. It wasn't like an issue of like, oh, I didn't meet anybody because I really didn't meet any influencers or like creators this year, which is fine. I still came to like go to more panels because I missed out on more panels last year to cosplay and to go to a couple meetups. I went to two meetups, Dragon Ball meetup, y'all was fire, amazing. Um, JJK meetup, never again. <laughs> very sorry, very sorry. Um, not sorry actually. But other than that, honestly, this con, I love this con. I feel the most, like I said, for me personally, so far, I feel the most included at this con. I feel the most like accepted at this con. I don't feel like they're scared looking at me because I'm cosplaying a certain character. Um, and yeah, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of panels. I do hope that next year they have like more music panels, more wrestling panels, because we need more wrestling panels. Come on, this being the first one ever is crazy. But um, yeah. Other than that, I think that it was a pretty good con, good con weekend, and I met a lot of people, met a lot of cosplayers, saw some mutuals, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't be mad at everything, you know, like, we already have as limited space as we have, as you know, so what we do have, let's just like try to help. All right, so you heard it there. It's, it was fine. It sounds like it was fine. It sounded like they had some weird streamers who pulled up, and other than weird streamers and maybe one girl who wanted to get pounded. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever that freaking tweet saw that I saw, whatever, man. Emotional damage. Uh, besides that, it seemed like it was fine. It seemed like people went, they enjoyed it, they lived their lives, and that was it. And you know what? I, I forget that I'm older. I forget that I'm a grown man who's been to conventions for like the last, I don't know, multiple decades of his life. I, I've gone to like E3. E3 was my convention that I wanted to go to every single year. Like I genuinely wanted to go, obviously because it's video game related. And I never went to, I've never been to like Anime Con. I just went to Comic Con for the first time and that was okay. You know, like I enjoyed it, but like I'm not a huge comic book uh, enthusiast like that. But, you know, for something like DreamCon, which is more of like, you know, it's like black culture. You got black people, you have... Uh, you know, black people who have similar interests like anime and video games and other stuff, music. It's it's just like one big uh, hangout sesh and meetup. And even what she was mentioning, she did mention the fact that like a lot of people might have missed out on stuff because they were too busy trying to find their favorite creators. Yes, I've never ever thought about doing that because I don't personally care to hang around people who are, I don't know, popular. I, I don't know. I, uh, who cares? Uh... Um, or no, you know what? No, I do. I do like to meet certain people who are who I re respect and uh, admire for sure. But I would not waste my entire trip trying to get like a photo or trying to get like a picture. And also, I have a different background when it comes to stuff like that. I grew up around people who were who were doing things. I became a person who started doing things himself at a young age. So I never saw that type of stuff as that important. Like the only time I ever had like a I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely freaking out because this person is someone I, I admire was like meeting Dave Chappelle when I was 15 uh, or 16. That was it. Outside of that, I never saw like celebrities as like, oh my God. So it's completely different. You have a completely different scenario, especially coming up in this day and age with the parasocial relationships and people like, oh, oh my God, oh, Berlizzi. I saw that in person. I, shout out to the homie Berlizzi. When he invi invited me to the ball to do stand-up comedy and perform and also hang out, 
I had never seen his fans with him. It was like kind of scary and no disrespect. If you love Berlizzi, you love uh, Corey Kenshin, RDC, Dashy, uh, whoever, whoever else you like, Kai Sinat, Amp, all them, more power to you. But hey, man, they do, like some, a lot of their fans do not see them as people. They see them as items and objects and oh, you're here. Let me touch you. Let me say hello to you. Yeah, and it gets it gets real strange. It gets real strange. And I, I think almost from the perspective of that girl's uh, horny-ass tweet, I feel like it's similar to uh, what NBA players deal with when they're on the road and they're in different cities and women are throwing themselves at them. But even then, you know what? Those women aren't really genuine fans. They're not even fans of basketball most of the time. It's just that they would like to hook up with an NBA player and maybe, maybe build a relationship, but mostly uh, get a baby and be set for life. So, and that's not every woman. And I don't know, sometimes it's men doing it. Uh, with the WNBA, listen, uh, who's going to get Caitlin Clark? I don't know. <laughs> no, she's, I think she's already dating somebody. So, yeah, all in all, just remember everybody's human, okay? Everybody's human. And I think I'm saying this to people who are younger because people who are younger, I think, have more of a warped perspective of fame and parasocial stuff. It's not the same when you crack past, like when you get past that threshold of when your brain actually develops past 25, let's say are 27 and up, you usually are like, oh, this isn't as interesting as it used to be to me, man. And then you start having like, you start achieving consciousness, like, whoa, Yo, I would have done anything for that person back in the day. I would have done anything. <laughs> so, yeah, I think personally, it's just a difference of maturity uh, and age and fandom and also growing up in parasocial world. I didn't grow up in parasocial world. I'm watching Dave Chappelle on TV as a fan of his art, which is his comedy and his 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 skits and his stand up. At no point did Dave Chappelle look through the camera and say, oh, hey, man, hey, make sure you hit subscribe, son. <laughs> like, that would be crazy. I'm actually kind of upset that that's what I have to do. I feel obligated to do it, you know. But yeah, yeah, that's not a real, that's not a real relationship. That's not a real, that's not even a real, like, uh, that's not even like a genuine admiring type of scenario from a fan to a to a creative anymore that's like you owe me i watched those videos i hit subscribe i shared i sub i bought merch you owe me <laughs> you owe me mother Uh, yeah, that's what that's that's what it feels like and I hope none of you uh, are crazy people uh, watching me right now, but If you are hey man, I Keep that thing on me and I'm playing <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Sorry. kidding <laughs> No, all right, that's it. That's the end of the video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We're going to have a lot more of these reaction type videos in the future. So please uh, keep me keep keep me in the loop in the comments. Share this. Oh, God damn it. I don't feel like saying that after that whole rant. You know what to do. If you support me, support me. I will see you when I see you. Thank you for watching. Let me cut the cameras. This has been fun. And man, I don't know, man. I hope I don't get, I don't, don't want to be that famous. Ooh.